Well, that is it, everyone. The process is officially over. The Sixers lose against the Hawks in Game 7 of the conference semifinals, and it, it was it was disgusting to watch. Ben Simmons not scoring at all. He's not even taking any shots. Furkan, I don't know why he was starting. He, he was missing every three-pointer three he attempted. Joel Embiid making a lot of turnovers. Tobias Harris missing a bunch of wide-open shots. I, I I do not know what 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 we can look forward to with this team anymore. We're officially eliminated now, so there's not going to be any more Sixers game rundowns after the game. There's just going to be off-season videos, I think. And if not, we might just have to figure out something else to do at this point because we're not. There's nothing to look forward to this off-season besides getting rid of Ben Simmons. But before we get into this rundown, I want to get into. I just want to get into the recap of this game because it, it was so bad. I never want to see anything like that again. Sixers lose 103 to 96 against the Atlanta Hawks. We 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 had a lead. We had and we tied it up in the third quarter after being down by a little bit, and then we we took the lead. We took the lead in the fourth by a four with like seven to go, and then we and then we just couldn't do anything. We really couldn't get the lead back. But Tobias Harris, 45 minutes, 14 boards, 4 assists, 24 points. I'm not going to criticize his stats, but I'm going to criticize the way he played this game. He's missing wide open shots. He's missing shots right under the net. Like, how are you missing that in a game 7, Harris? How do you miss wide open shots? I, I do not know what was wrong with him today. It was like he was missing every, every wide open shot that came to him, but he was he did start clutching down a couple threes and some layups, but he was missing mid range, which he used to be so good at. Furkan Korkmaz, 18 minutes, two boards, one assist, five points. He could have had he he took like ten shots from the three point line, I think, and he only gets five points. That it was so bad for him. I, I, I don't know why he was starting at Game 7. If you have to start a Game 7 with Furk on Korkmaz, you're not in good shape. Joel Embiid, Joel Embiid played 41 minutes, 11 boards, 3 assists, 31 points. So Joel Embiid had a good game. He did have a good game. But the turnovers were so costly. He turned over one late in the game, which eventually end, like salted the game away. That was... That was when they scored 98. We only scored 96. That end of the game, that turnover by Joel Embiid. We needed three. Po we needed some three pointers. Ben Simmons being scared to take shots was the word. Okay, now we're gonna get into Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons played 36 minutes, eight eight boards, 13 assists, five points. Five points for your starting point guard. What is wrong? What is wrong with him? You can't get five points as your starting point guard. He took he went again, he went two for four from field goal range. I think he went one for two from feet three throws. So he didn't shoot at all. Late in the game, we were down eighty eight to eighty six. Ben Simmons has a wide open dunk opportunity. Instead, he gives it to Matisse Thibel. And Matisse Thibel gets fouled. So you're like, okay, if Matisse Thibel hits both of these shots, it'll all be forgiven. Thibel misses one. So we're down by one now instead of being tied. We we never tied it up again after that. It, we I don't think we ever tied it up after that. And then late in the game, it was 93-92 Hawks. They shoot a three. And Thibel hits him over the head for a foul, and that that shoot that lets him shoot three points, and he got free th three free throws right there. So that took it to 96-92, and then we we couldn't we couldn't follow up after that. Joel Embiid gets the ball stolen from him, and then that salted the game away. That was it. The Sixers got eliminated right after that. We could not we could not contain them at all. It was it was heart crushing to watch that. It was really bad to watch that. Seth Curry, thirty one minutes, two boards, two assists, sixteen points. George Hill, twenty. I I don't know why George Hill is playing this much. One board, 
Three points in 21 minutes for George Hill. I can't stand him. Matisse Thibault, 21 minutes, five boards, eight points. He had an okay game. Tyrese Maxey, 14 minutes, one board, three assists, two points. I really don't know why they didn't just start Tyrese Maxey at that point because I, I, I really don't know. Seven, er, Dwight Howard, seven minutes, three boards. I don't. Dwight Howard costs so much of this game with his fouling. All he does is foul. He, he's not a good backup center. Shake Milton. Five minutes, one board, two points. So, I, I didn't know. I did not know. Why is the bench playing this much? Why is the bench playing that much in game seven? It, it, it was bad. They used they used a total of ten guys instead of like a normal like eight for a playoff game you'd like. These ten guys. But anyway, let's just go to the second part of this rundown. The process is over. The process of what they talked about. For, that started back in 2013 when we would get 10 win seasons, when we would suck. Yeah, that was the process because we knew one day we would make a contending team and one day we would make the playoffs. And that process started with the one and only Joel Embiid. He was able to make a group of guys behind him. Ben Simmons thought to be that point guard, thought to be that franchise altering point guard that this team would get. But no. That did not work. Joel Embiid worked. Came second in MVP but in second in MVP voting this year. And if he would have got it if he didn't get injured. But Ben Simmons, you're not paying him a max contract to get five points in game seven of the playoffs just to play defense. It I, I do not care about his assists. I do not care about his rebounds. You're the point guard. You're supposed to be taking control of this offense. The, the center on this team should not be handling the ball more than you. The center is supposed to be taking shots by the post, trying to go for dunks, trying to go for laps. Ben Simmons passes the ball away after he takes it, hides in a corner, and doesn't get it past him. And if it does get past him, he tries to throw it away so he doesn't get the ball. It's, it's embarrassing. Now let's just get into Ben Simmons. He, he better have played his last game in the Sixers uniform. And if he, he if he starts game one of the regular season for 2021 to 2022, I'd, I'm, I'll just stop watching at that point. The Sixers, if they keep Ben Simmons after five years of this crap, of him missing shots, not even taking shots, can't even shoot a basketball, doesn't want to be a part of the offense, and is getting a max contract. Yeah, that that that's a mistake if we keep this kid. That's a mistake if we keep that guy. If he's getting paid that much to do that little, that that's awful. He's getting eight times as much. Okay, so he's making like forty million a year. That's eight times as much, as much as many points as he's making. Five points he's making, but he's getting paid forty million dollars. Five times eight, that's forty. Uh, that's unbelievable. That that's unbelievable. Why we're paying this guy so much to do nothing? Now we gotta talk about what the heck just happened last night. I I, I do not know what where to start with the turnovers by Joel Embiid, well the misopen shots by Harris, with the stupidity of the gameplay by Ben Simmons, the the foul at the end by Matisse Thybulle to give, um them through three free throws uh but i we were stopping trey young today we were stopping him at one point he was two for 17 from field goal range and then it was, it was awful i i don't even want to talk about this game anymore so let's just go into the opt optimism of the offseason things we can look forward to joel Embiid is going to be health fully healthy again coming back to the regular season he's going to be fully healthy ready to play as a starting center for the sixers Another thing, Ben Simmons hopefully will be gone next year. And we might get a, a star point guard in return. We might get someone like Damian Lillard. Hopefully, hopefully the Trailblazers would like to give Damian Lillard up for Ben Simmons. Or we could get someone like, maybe send him to the Pelicans for like Lonzo Ball and like a first round pick. So pair Ben Simmons up with Zion Williamson, and they might be able to make an offense with Ben Simmons, but I really don't know. He's not fit for the Sixers. The Sixers need a shooting point guard. 
And I, I want Damian Lillard. I really want Damian Lillard to be the starting point guard for the 76ers 2021-2022 season. But I don't know if that's going to happen. So maybe maybe send him to the Pelicans for Lonzo Ball on a first-round pick. Then we get another first-round pick. And there's always Tyrese Maxey. There's always Tyrese Maxey where you can grow into a gr good point guard. And this was only his rookie season, and he played phenomenal. And um, I, I think that, that that's optimism going for the offseason. More optimism is that we, we can still be a contending team next year. If we Ben Simmons, if we make a first seed with Ben Simmons, if we keep this main roster and get rid of Ben Simmons and tidy up the bench a bit, then I think we can make the one seed again and possibly be finals contenders. But there's a lot to look forward to, and there's a lot to dread back on. But the season is over now, and there's nothing we can do about it. So that's going to be it for this final Sixers rundown of the season. I want to thank you guys all for watching. Thank you for sticking with me through the Sixers year. I know I only started posting videos when the playoffs came, but that's because I was just starting up the channel again. And I really, really, really am glad that you guys were watching these videos. It takes a little bit of time for me to work on them. This was a little bit of a longer video right now. I'm up to 11 minutes on the recording. But again, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like. Subscribe, leave a comment down below of what you think the Sixers should do in the offseason. And I'll see you guys in some more Phillies rundowns and some other videos I'm going to be doing. Peace out.